Hello you guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Family photos or family formals on wedding day tend to be the most stressful part just because there are a lot of moving pieces and it's a lot of different combinations and trying to wrangle family members and you have to be assertive. So there's a lot that goes into family photos as a photographer. I wanna share some tips that I use and how I am able to capture family formals in just 15 minutes. The first, and I would say the most important tip, I don't know, maybe they're all important, but this is like a must have is getting a list of family members before the wedding. In my wedding questionnaire, so whenever a couple books with me that is one of the questions I ask and I actually will fill in or kind of start like bride's mom leaving that blank bride's dad leaving that blank bride's siblings and so getting the family members they want in the photos as well as their names are super super important most of the time it is just core family so I would say parents siblings grandparents those tend to be the family members most couples want in family formals. Now I've had some where they want big group pictures with aunts, uncles, and cousins, and that's something that we talk about, you know, to see how many combinations we have because if they have a long list of family then that's going to definitely eat up into bridal party time and couples portraits so uh, we have those conversations when they arise but the vast majority of people it's parents siblings and grandparents and i kind of pre-fill that in my questionnaire but i make sure to get their names and this is important for two reasons one you want to know who they actually want in the photo <laughs> so you know, you can't just fly by the seat of your pants with these and expect it to be super efficient and go really well. So you need to know who is going to be in the photos and having their names secondly will help you call out those names because a lot of the times like I would not be known as bride sister you know like nobody calls me bride sister everyone calls me Katie so if somebody were to say Katie I'm gonna perk up I'm gonna look more often than if I hear bride sister if does that make sense so getting a list of who's gonna be in the family photos beforehand is so important. Secondly, I create a combinations list for my couples and I get them to sign off on it. So creating all the different combinations, for example, it would be bride plus mom, bride plus dad, bride plus parents. It's that detailed. All the different combinations, bride and groom plus bride's parents, bride and groom plus bride's parents plus bride's siblings. Like it can go, it can be really detailed. And I do all of those combinations because it helps me flow through family photos so quickly. So I know who's on deck. I know when, okay, bride's side is done. I know when grandparents are done. Cause most of the time grandparents want to sit down. If it's hot, they want to go into the air conditioning. If it's cold, they want to go into the heat. So you know when grandparents are done, you know when certain people are done and you know who's on deck next. So having those combinations is so important and getting my couples, I say to sign off on it, right? Basically tell me, yes, those combinations are good. Those are all the combinations we want helps me too because again now they have everyone who's going to be in family photos and sometimes i send all my different combinations to my couples and they say that's way too many we just want big group pictures and that's totally fine that's why we talk so i know what they want and i know i can give them exactly what they want but just having that list of combinations for them to sign off on and then that is what i look at on wedding day i have it on my phone underneath their timeline i'm looking at their family combinations so again i know who's next I I know who's on deck who okay mom's gonna step out dad's gonna step in now mom step back in because there's just a lot of moving pieces and then you also know combinations that you have already gotten and still need to get so you capture everything that the couple wants this is a little bonus tip but I've worked with another photographer who actually printed out the list of family formals and literally marked off each combination that she got to make sure she got all the different combinations so that would that's just a little bonus tip 
if that's something you want to do. Tip number three is to have a point person to help round up family. I don't know, sometimes with family members, as soon as the ceremony's done, they're off at cocktail hour and it's hard to find them. So this can be a bridesmaid. It can also be a wedding coordinator or a second shooter if you're bringing a second photographer to a wedding. But have a point person who knows who the family is that can go grab people if they've kind of wandered off, which happens and it's not a big deal. Like we're here to party, but we gotta get these photos first. Number four is have a location in mind for family formals before the ceremony is over. Usually, usually nine times out of 10, it is at the ceremony spot where the couple has gotten married. It's the easiest place, but sometimes the lighting's just not that great. My most recent wedding that I did actually this past weekend, the ceremony spot's beautiful, but it was in full sun. So if the sun was behind a cloud, perfect lighting, gorgeous, cannot complain. But when the sun isn't behind a cloud, which happened frequently throughout their ceremony, everyone would be squinting looking at me, if that makes sense. So I had to kind of find another location. Um, it ended up working out just fine. But having those locations in mind, especially like, okay, number one spot will be the ceremony spot, but if that's not the best lighting, have another location in mind so you can go straight there and start family formals. You don't wanna be walking around the venue for five to 10 minutes looking for a spot for photos, if that makes sense. I'm gonna say tip number five is, this is something that I let my couples know. They need to notify the family members who will be in the family photos beforehand. I can't tell you how many times like a random person will come up to me, do you need me for family photos? I don't know who this person is. So I just let my couple know beforehand to let their family know. Whoever is stay, you know, going to be in the family photos, let them know beforehand so they know not to wander off, so they know to stick around the ceremony spot or wherever, and that just helps things go a little smoother. And the final tip is to be assertive day of. Now, I am an introvert, believe it or not. I'm, I would say, an average amount of assertive in my personal life, but on wedding day, you have to be assertive. You have to be the boss, you have to take control, not in like a mean or domineering way, but you have to be assertive because if you're not gonna be assertive, people will walk all over you, people won't hear you, people won't respond to you, and I'm not saying to be mean, I'm not saying to boss a bunch of people around and be like photographer Zilla or anything like that. I'm just saying be assertive, go with your list, say, okay, now mom is gonna step out, now dad, you step in, great, let's my mom step in, now dad, you step out just being assertive and this takes practice. Looking back on like my first weddings versus now, I go through the process a lot quicker now than I did then. It does take practice and just know that you'll get better at every single wedding, but going into it, you have to be assertive and have to have people listen to you or it will take a very, very long time. But that's gonna be it, quick video. I feel like this was a quick video. I feel like I talked very quickly, but that's gonna be it for today's video. Those are my tips on how I can take family formals in just 15 minutes after the ceremony. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.